thought this morning would be a good time to show you all the coop. So here it is. We built it ourselves. The roof is um, through, so they have a nice uh, access to the sun, except for when we get snow. And then it's kind of dark in there. It's also on wheels, so we can move it. And uh, there's this other modular piece we can attach when we go on vacation. It also serves as a garden tractor. And then, um, of course, we have the necessary little coop door for the chickens to come out of. And I will let them out here this morning. There's one who's already out here. Our little hamburger who sleeps outside. And then this is the egg box here. They, uh, they go in here to nest. You can pull it up. You can look in there. See, look, there's a light Brahma in there right now, laying. And then over here, we have a nice brown egg. Look at that. Someone else has laid. The curtains um, give them a little privacy, make them feel a little safer about laying the eggs. One of the things about um, keeping the chickens laying eggs, too, is they need 14 hours of daylight. So we have a light in here on a timer. Comes on for a few hours in the evening, a few hours in the morning every day to make sure that they have uh, those, those 14 hours of light. There's another nesting box in here, which is not used very much because it doesn't have the nice curtain feature. And there's our hamburger who sleeps outside. Come in to get some food. Uh, we have food here hanging from the ceiling and then uh, water. That little hat for the food keeps the, uh, the poop from going in the food, as you can see. Because they like to sleep up here on these um, on these high bars where they perch. We got some uh, lower bars we tried to get them on, and these were the ones we designed for them to be on. But now that there's only a few of them, they don't really use them all that much. It's a hungry, hungry Hamburg right there. And then uh, down the hill there in the distance, you can see we've got. Uh, another water, which kind of kind of heads them in the direction of the creek and the woods, which is dangerous in terms of predators, but um, keeps them out there playing, eating ticks, and uh, generally having a nice jungle fowlish sort of life. 